Cinema, the grand kaleidoscope of emotions, has been graced with some extraordinary talents. Among those we remember and revere are gifted artists whose lives were abruptly cut short, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen. This video pays tribute to these luminaries, beginning with Philip Seymour Hoffman. Number 1. Philip Seymour Hoffman Philip Seymour Hoffman was more than just an actor. He was an inimitable icon of 21th century cinema. Born in Rochester, New York, Hoffman's passion for theater bloomed during his teenage years, which led him to study drama at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts. Hoffman's breakthrough arrived with his role in Paul Thomas Anderson's Boogie Nights, 1997, where his stirring portrayal of a lovelorn production assistant earned him acclaim. Anderson became a frequent collaborator, casting Hoffman in several of his films, including Magnolia, 1999, and Punch Drunk Love, 2002. A chameleon on screen, Hoffman's true prowess shone in his transformative roles, most notably his portrayal of Truman Capote in Capote, 2005. His performance won him the Academy Award for Best Actor, immortalizing him in the annals of cinematic history. Hoffman's nuanced performances always captured the very essence of his characters, breathing life into their complexities. He embraced a variety of roles, from the charismatic Lancaster Dodd in The Master, 2012, to the dubious Plutarch Heavensby in The Hunger Games series. His performances often presented an intense study of the human condition, its frailties and strengths. Despite his success, Hoffman battled personal demons. Struggling with substance abuse for a significant part of his life, Hoffman sought treatment multiple times. Tragically, on February 2, 2014, he was found dead in his New York apartment from an apparent drug overdose. Philip Seymour Hoffman left behind a rich tapestry of performances, from his independent film roots to his mainstream success. His capacity to imbue his characters with depth and authenticity earned him recognition as one of the greatest actors of his time. Though his life ended prematurely, his legacy continues to inspire aspiring artists, confirming that his flame, though extinguished, will continue to illuminate the world of cinema. Number 2. Robin Williams Robin Williams was a mirthful meteor, an actor who shone brightly in the cinematic firmament. Born in Chicago, Williams first tasted success as a stand-up comedian, his lightning-fast wit and improvisational skills garnering him substantial fame. Hollywood inevitably beckoned, and he made his big-screen debut in Robert Altman's Popeye, 1980. Williams's unique ability to oscillate between comedy and drama was his signature. His performance in Good Morning Vietnam, 1987, demonstrated this exceptional talent, earning him his first Academy Award nomination. He played characters with Elan, be it the eccentric and inspiring teacher in Dead Poets Society, 1989, the empathetic therapist in Good Will Hunting, 1997, for which he won an Oscar, or the joyful genie in Disney's Aladdin, 1992, his performances were consistently memorable. However, behind his cheerful persona, Williams grappled with depression and addiction. Tragically, he took his own life on August 11, 2014. Williams' death sent shockwaves around the world, leaving fans and fellow actors heartbroken. Despite his personal struggles, Williams' cinematic contributions and his extraordinary ability to touch people's hearts with humor and sentimentality remain his enduring legacy. Number 3. Heath Ledger Australian-born Heath Ledger was a force to be reckoned with, bringing an undeniable intensity to his roles. His big break came with the teen comedy Ten Things I Hate About You, 1999, establishing Ledger as a Hollywood heartthrob. In Brokeback Mountain, 2005, Ledger delivered a raw and nuanced performance as Ennis Del Mar, a cowboy battling his sexual orientation. The role earned him an Academy Award nomination and established him as a serious actor capable of tackling complex characters. But Ledger's most iconic role came as the Joker in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight, 2008. His transformation into the anarchic, maniacal villain was complete and frighteningly real, earning him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Tragically, Ledger was found dead in his New York City apartment on January 22, 2008. His death, attributed to an accidental prescription drug overdose, stunned the world. 
Ledger's commitment to his craft and his ability to completely immerse himself in his characters left a lasting impact on the film industry. His remarkable talent and the roles he embodied will forever serve as a testament to his place in cinematic history. Number 4. Paul Walker Born in Glendale, California, Paul Walker's boyish charm and impressive acting skills made him a favorite in Hollywood. Walker began his acting career in the mid-1980s, appearing in several television shows before transitioning to the big screen. Walker is best known for his role as Brian O'Connor in the Fast and Furious franchise. His charismatic presence and thrilling action sequences quickly established him as a leading man in the action genre. The franchise's success is in large part due to Walker's charm and on-screen chemistry with co-star Vin Diesel. His career, however, wasn't only defined by adrenaline-pumping roles, he showcased his acting range in films such as Pleasantville, 1998, and Eight Below, 2006, earning praise for his performances. Tragically, on November 30, 2013, Walker died in a car accident while attending a charity event for his organization, Reach Out Worldwide. His untimely death shook Hollywood and left a significant void in the Fast and Furious franchise. Remembered for his kindness and philanthropy as much as his acting, Walker's legacy continues to shine brightly in the annals of Hollywood. Number 5. Alan Rickman British actor Alan Rickman with his distinctive voice and exceptional acting prowess, left an indelible mark on cinema. After establishing himself on stage, Rickman made his film debut as the villain Hans Gruber in Die Hard, 1988, a role that instantly catapulted him to stardom. Rickman's remarkable range enabled him to effortlessly slip into various roles, from the romantic lead in Sense and Sensibility, 1995, to the complex Severus Snape in the Harry Potter series. His portrayal of Snape captivated audiences worldwide, creating a character that was as enigmatic as he was integral to the storyline. Outside of his film career, Rickman was also recognized for his work on stage, earning a Tony nomination for his role in Les Liaisons Dangereuses on Broadway. Rickman passed away from cancer on January 14, 2016, leaving a void in the film and theater world. His ability to imbue his characters with depth whether they were heroes or villains, continues to be appreciated by fans and film enthusiasts. As an actor, Rickman left behind an impressive legacy of memorable performances, proving that talent truly is ageless and timeless. Number 6. Chadwick Boseman Chadwick Boseman was an actor whose portrayals of significant African-American figures left a profound impact. Born and raised in South Carolina, Bozeman graduated from Howard University before embarking on his acting career. Bozeman's portrayals of real-life figures, including Jackie Robinson in 42 Inches, 2013, and James Brown in Get On Up, 2014, garnered him considerable acclaim. However, it was his role as King T'Challa, the Black Panther, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that catapulted him to global stardom. His performance inspired millions around the world and played a pivotal role in advancing the cause of representation in Hollywood. Shockingly, at the peak of his career, Bozeman passed away from colon cancer on August 28, 2020, a battle he fought privately while continuing to work on films. His dedication to his craft and his strength of character throughout his battle left a significant impact on his colleagues and fans alike. Bozeman's legacy extends beyond his filmography, he used his platform to speak out on issues of racial justice and representation, leaving behind a legacy of commitment to these causes. His inspirational life and untimely death continue to serve as a reminder of the potential and fragility of life. Number 7. James Gandolfini James Gandolfini, with his exceptional acting prowess and charismatic screen presence, revolutionized television. The New Jersey native initially pursued a career in management before discovering his passion for acting. Gandolfini's career-defining role came in the form of Tony Soprano on HBO's The Sopranos, 1999 to 2007. His portrayal of the complex mob boss, grappling with the mundanities of suburban life and the brutalities of the mafia world, won him three Emmy Awards and universal acclaim. Despite being synonymous with his role as Tony Soprano, Gandolfini proved his versatility with performances in films like True Romance, 1993, the Mexican, 2001, and Zero Dark Thirty, 2012. Each performance showcased a different facet of his immense talent.
On June 19, 2013, Gandolfini tragically died from a heart attack while on vacation in Italy. His sudden death stunned fans and fellow actors alike. Gandolfini's work, particularly his groundbreaking performance in The Sopranos, redefined television acting and solidified his legacy as one of the most influential actors of his generation. His profound impact on the television landscape remains unparalleled. Number 8. Brittany Murphy Bright-eyed and effervescent, Brittany Murphy was a unique talent in Hollywood. Born in Atlanta, Georgia, Murphy started her acting career at a young age, eventually transitioning from television to film. Her breakout role came in Amy Heckerling's Clueless, 1995, where her portrayal of the innocent and naive Ty Fraser resonated with audiences worldwide. Subsequent roles in films like Girl Interrupted, 1999, Eight Mile, 2002, and Sin City, 2005, showcased her acting range and versatility. However, Murphy's talents were not confined to the realm of live-action films. She lent her distinctive voice to the character Luann Platter on the animated series King of the Hill, 1997-2009, earning further acclaim. Tragically, Murphy's life was cut short on December 20, 2009, when she suddenly passed away due to pneumonia, with secondary factors of iron deficiency anemia and multiple drug intoxication. The sudden nature of her death left the entertainment industry in shock. Through her varied roles, Murphy proved herself to be a capable and multifaceted performer. Her legacy lives on through her performances, which continue to entertain and inspire audiences. Number 9. Patrick Swayze Patrick Swayze was a true renaissance man in Hollywood, excelling as an actor, dancer, and singer. Born in Houston, Texas, Swayze's love for performing arts was nurtured early on, leading him to Broadway before transitioning to film. Swayze's breakout role came in Dirty Dancing, 1987, where his charisma, dance skills, and on-screen chemistry with co-star Jennifer Grey captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. The film's success turned Swayze into a bona fide Hollywood star. In Ghost, 1990, Swayze further showcased his acting prowess. His moving portrayal of Sam Wheat, a man trying to communicate with his lover after his untimely death, earned him a Golden Globe nomination. However, Swayze's career was tragically cut short when he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Despite his diagnosis, Swayze continued to work, starring in the A&E drama The Beast, 2009, while undergoing treatment. He passed away on September 14, 2009. Swayze's legacy is marked by his passionate performances and his unwavering spirit. From his unforgettable roles to his tenacity in the face of adversity, Swayze continues to inspire generations of performers and fans. His work remains a testament to his talent, confirming his status as a true Hollywood icon. Number 10. Carrie Fisher Carrie Fisher was an actress, writer, and advocate, best known for her role as Princess Leia in the Star Wars franchise. Born into Hollywood royalty, Fisher began her acting career in the film Shampoo, 1975, before becoming a worldwide sensation in Star Wars, 1977. Her portrayal of Princess Leia, a strong, intelligent leader, broke the mold for women in science fiction and became a cultural icon. Fisher reprised the role in several Star Wars sequels, endearing her to new generations of fans. Aside from acting, Fisher was a prolific writer. Her semi-autobiographical novel, Postcards from the Edge, 1987, and her candid memoir, Wishful Drinking, 2008, received critical acclaim. Fisher was also an outspoken advocate for mental health awareness, candidly discussing her struggles with bipolar disorder and addiction. Her honesty and advocacy helped destigmatize mental health issues and inspired many who faced similar struggles. Tragically, Fisher passed away on December 27, 2016, after suffering a heart attack. Her life, though marked by personal challenges, was also one of triumph and resilience. Fisher's legacy continues to influence the entertainment industry and the global discourse on mental health. Number 11. Bruce Lee A global icon, Bruce Lee revolutionized martial arts cinema with his charisma, physical prowess, and philosophical insights. Born in San Francisco and raised in Hong Kong, Lee began his career as a child actor before shifting his focus to martial arts. Lee's breakthrough role came in the television series The Green Hornet, 1966-1967, where he played Cato. 
However, it was his films like Fists of Fury, 1971, Way of the Dragon, 1972, and Enter the Dragon, 1973, that catapulted him to international stardom. Lee's martial arts style, Jeet Kune Do, was not merely about fighting. It was a philosophy, advocating for flexibility and practicality over rigidity and tradition. This philosophy extended to his films, where he seamlessly blended high-octane action with deep philosophical musings. On July 20th, 1973, Lee died suddenly from a cerebral edema, sending shockwaves across the globe. Despite his brief career, Lee's influence on martial arts cinema and popular culture cannot be overstated. Lee's films, teachings, and his groundbreaking contribution to the portrayal of Asians in Hollywood continue to inspire and influence. His life and work serve as a lasting reminder of his unique talent and enduring legacy. Number 12. River Phoenix River Phoenix was an actor of extraordinary depth and sensitivity. Born in Madras, Oregon, Phoenix began his career in television before making his transition to film. Phoenix quickly gained recognition for his compelling performances in films such as Stand By Me, 1986, and Running On Empty, 1988. For the latter, he received an Academy Award nomination, solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's promising young actors. Phoenix continued to impress with his versatility and commitment to his craft, choosing roles that challenged him and audiences alike. His portrayal of a young gay man in My Own Private Idaho, 1991, was a particular standout, earning him critical acclaim. Tragically, Phoenix's life and career were cut short on October 31, 1993, when he died of a drug overdose outside the Viper Room in Los Angeles. His untimely death shocked the world and left a significant void in Hollywood. Phoenix's talent and potential were undeniable, and his performances continue to resonate with audiences. Despite his brief career, he left a lasting legacy that continues to influence actors and filmmakers alike. Number 13. Burt Reynolds Burt Reynolds was a bona fide Hollywood star, exuding charm and charisma on screen. Born in Lansing, Michigan, Reynolds began his acting career on stage and television before transitioning to film. Reynolds's breakthrough came with the film Deliverance, 1972, showcasing his acting prowess and leading man potential. However, it was the action comedy Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, that turned him into a global superstar. In a career spanning over six decades, Reynolds showcased his versatility across a wide range of genres, from action and comedy to drama. His performance in Boogie Nights, 1997, earned him an Academy Award nomination and a resurgence in popularity. Despite health issues, Reynolds continued to act until his death on September 6, 2018. His passing marked the end of an era, leaving a significant void in the film industry. Reynolds' rugged charm, on-screen charisma, and his commitment to his craft have made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. His life and career serve as a testament to his talent and enduring appeal, continuing to inspire actors and entertain audiences. Number 14. Christopher Lee Sir Christopher Lee was a British actor whose career spanned over seven decades. Born in London, Lee began his acting career in the 1940s, playing minor roles before landing his breakthrough role in the 1950s. Lee became a horror film icon for his portrayal of Count Dracula in a series of Hammer horror films, starting with Dracula, 1958. His imposing stature and distinctive voice made him a perfect fit for the role, leaving a lasting impression on the genre. Despite being primarily known for his horror roles, Lee displayed his versatility in a wide range of genres. He played Francisco Scaramanga in the James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974. Saruman in The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit trilogies, and Count Dooku in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. Lee passed away on June 7, 2015, leaving behind a remarkable body of work that continues to entertain and inspire. His dedication to his craft and his memorable performances have made him one of the most respected figures in cinema. Number 15. Peter O'Toole Peter O'Toole was a British-Irish actor renowned for his charismatic performances, and his dedication to his craft. Born in Connemara, Ireland, O'Toole began his acting career in theater before transitioning to film. O'Toole's breakthrough role came in Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, where his powerful performance as T.E. Lawrence earned him an Academy Award nomination. The film's success propelled him to international stardom, 
O'Toole continued to impress audiences with performances in films like Beckett, 1964, The Lion in Winter, 1968, and Goodbye, Mr. Chips, 1969. His acting prowess earned him eight Academy Award nominations throughout his career. O'Toole passed away on December 14, 2013, but his legacy continues to influence the acting world. His passionate performances and his contributions to cinema have secured his status as one of the most respected actors in film history. O'Toole's life and career continue to inspire actors and audiences alike. Number 16. Richard Harris Richard Harris was an Irish actor and singer known for his charismatic performances and distinctive voice. Born in Limerick, Ireland, Harris initially aspired to be a director before embarking on a successful acting career. Harris's performance as Frank Matchin in This Sporting Life, 1963, catapulted him to international stardom and earned him an Academy Award nomination. However, it was his role as King Arthur in the film adaptation of Camelot, 1967, that made him a household name. In his later career, Harris endeared himself to a new generation of viewers as Albus Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter films. His portrayal of the wise and enigmatic Hogwarts headmaster was universally loved. Harris passed away on October 25, 2002, but his legacy continues to resonate with audiences of all ages. His remarkable career, marked by powerful performances and his unique charisma, has left an indelible impact on the world of cinema. Number 17. Sidney Pollack Sidney Pollack was an American actor, director, and producer known for his contributions to cinema. Born in Lafayette, Indiana, Pollock began his career as an actor before moving behind the camera. Pollock's directorial work includes critically acclaimed films like They Shoot Horses, Don't They? 1969, The Way We Were, 1973, and Tootsie, 1982. However, it was Out of Africa, 1985, that earned him two Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Picture. Despite his success as a director and producer, Pollock also maintained an acting career, appearing in films like Eyes Wide Shut, 1999, and Michael Clayton, 2007. Pollock passed away on May 26, 2008, leaving behind a significant body of work that continues to be celebrated. His skillful direction, thoughtful storytelling, and memorable acting performances have solidified his legacy as one of the great figures in American cinema. Number 18. Marlon Brando Marlon Brando was an American actor whose magnetic on-screen presence and exceptional acting skills revolutionized Hollywood. Born in Omaha, Nebraska, Brando began his acting career on the stage before making a successful transition to film. Brando's breakout role in A Streetcar Named Desire, 1951, introduced audiences to his raw and powerful acting style, marking him as one of Hollywood's most promising actors. His performance in On the Waterfront, 1954, earned him his first Academy Award. Brando continued to deliver captivating performances in films like The Godfather, 1972, where his portrayal of Vito Corleone earned him another Academy Award and further cemented his legacy. Brando passed away on July 1, 2004, but his influence on acting and cinema is immeasurable. His performances, marked by intense realism and emotional depth, continue to inspire generations of actors. Number 19. Paul Newman Paul Newman was an American actor, film director, producer, and philanthropist, renowned for his striking good looks and compelling on-screen performances. Born in Shaker Heights, Ohio, Newman started his career in theater and television before moving to film. Newman's performance in The Hustler, 1961, established him as a leading man in Hollywood. His roles in films like Cool Hand Luke, 1967, and The Sting, 1973, showcased his range and depth as an actor. In addition to acting, Newman was a successful director and an avid race car driver. His philanthropic efforts, particularly the creation of the Newman's own food brand, which donates all post-tax profits to charity, left a profound impact. Newman passed away on September 26, 2008, leaving behind a legacy that extended beyond the film industry. His remarkable career, philanthropic efforts, and enduring appeal continue to inspire and entertain audiences worldwide. Number 20. Audrey Hepburn Audrey Hepburn was a British actress, humanitarian, and fashion icon, known for her grace, elegance, and captivating performances. 
Born in Brussels, Belgium, Hepburn studied ballet before transitioning into acting. Hepburn's breakout role came in Roman Holiday, 1953, in which her radiant performance as a princess on the loose in Rome won her an Academy Award for Best Actress. This was followed by a string of successful films like Sabrina, 1954, Funny Face, 1957, and Love in the Afternoon, 1957, where her beauty and talent captivated audiences worldwide. One of Hepburn's most iconic roles was Holly Golightly in Breakfast at Tiffany's, 1961. Her portrayal of the free-spirited socialite is still celebrated for its sophistication and charm. Hepburn's little black dress and pearls in the film became a timeless symbol of elegance. Hepburn's later career was marked by fewer film appearances as she chose to dedicate more time to her family and humanitarian work. As a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF, she used her celebrity status to raise awareness about children in need, making significant contributions to humanitarian efforts worldwide. Hepburn passed away on January 20, 1993. Her legacy, however, remains vibrantly alive. From her unforgettable performances and fashion influence to her humanitarian work, Hepburn left an indelible mark on the world. She remains an enduring symbol of grace, class, and compassion, continuing to inspire generations of actresses and fashion enthusiasts. Whether she was illuminating the silver screen with her performances or working tirelessly in the field for UNICEF, Hepburn embodied grace and compassion. Her life and career are a testament to her talent, beauty, and her dedication to making a difference.